Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts. I'm Anna Vanilla and this is the channel where I share all my knowledge, everything that I've learned from the past years of experience I share with you and um, it could be anything from drawing, knitting, croquetting, anything. Uh, in this case, we are knitting a hat. And this is a faux plaid. So, this is a pink beautiful hat that I'm doing on the needles number 5 with acrylic yarn in beautiful pink. I have 75 loops on my needles and this is how you need this pattern. The first loop we transfer it on the right needle then uh, the first loop that we actually need it's a pearl stitch then what we do we count one two three three loops and behind the three loops we grab the yarn to the front and we create a big loop like so behind these three loops and then we hold this yarn with a finger uh, this loop with a finger we need the first loop with a front stitch and then we need the other two loops together with a front stitch pearl stitch so we count one two three three loops behind three loops we grab the yarn take the first out of these three loops we pass through with a front stitch and then we take these two loops and we um, knit it together with a front stitch then we do again purl stitch one two three we grab the yarn Take the first loop and the other two loops, we knit them together. So we basically make out of three loops, we make new three loops. And this is how you knit this row. And it creates a perfect faux plait. So it looks like plaiting, but it's a faux plait. Or more like a fake plait. so on this was the first row of this pattern now we do the second row so we knit the first one I mean we take it and move it to the right needle right side needle and knit what we see we see a front stitch we need the front stitch we see a pearl stitch we need a pearl stitch and 
all of these free ones that we made from the previous row we need them all on the second row with a purl stitch so it's a front stitch purl stitch all three loops this is a purl stitch front stitch purl stitch purl stitch front stitch basically how we look at you is how you need Now we are doing the third row. The, the third row is also very simple to do. Is basically you you see a purl stitch, you need the purl stitch, you see a front stitch, you need the front stitch, and so three front stitches, purl stitch, three front stitches purl stitch three front stitches purl stitch and so on until the end of this row we need the same until the end of this row this is our fourth row first one we just move on to the right needle we see a front stitch we need the front stitch we see a pearl stitch we need the pearl stitch and the way you see your loops is how you need them if you see a front stitch a front stitch if you see a pearl stitch a pearl stitch and this is what we do until the end of this row this was our fourth row this is our fifth row we move the first loop onto the right needle we need one purl stitch and three front stitches purl stitch three front stitches so how we see the loops is how we need them so if you see a purl stitch, you need the purl stitch. If you see a front stitch, please need the front stitch. And um, the same way until the end of this row. Fifth row. This is our sixth row. And we also need... So we... Uh, place um, the first loop onto the right needle and we need a front stitch three purl stitches front stitch three purl stitches so how we see the loops is how we need them so it's the same basically as the other rows so this is how we need until the end of this row now this is the seventh row but what we do with the seventh row we actually need the first row so the way we've made these loops on the first row we need to repeat them here as a seventh row so we do this crisscross situation and it's it will be 
continues like a plot as you can see the whole thing here yeah so we need to repeat the first row here and this is the pattern is as easy as that is simple is quick to do quick to knit but it's very luxurious looking so yeah the hat would should uh, be amazing at the end hello again everyone this is the end product this is the end result of the hat we've been knitting together and as you can see it's really like a faux plait without being a plaiting and i think it's a fantastic hat i think it's the color is fantastic is pink is juicy pink is new is fresh ready to wear and i have knitted with acrylic yarn this one in particular and as you can see i started with uh, front loops front stitches on the uh, front and the back of a hat and then I started doing the actual pattern that I've shown you so if you want you can start straight from the pattern I was giving you or you make two rows of front stitches and on the back with front stitches and you'll get two rows of uh, pearl looking stitches without being a pearl stitch and it's fantastic look how it stretches it stretches nicely is it's almost like a hat for a doll that's how um, beautiful it looks like this is the back I have stitched on the back here it's almost invisible stitch because I'm doing it on the front uh, when I stitch it with um, this neon green needle my favorite needle like so this is at the back where I've hidden all the yarns all the odds and ends and this is how you wear it at the back of your head and I think it's fantastic if you make a hat like this one I can guarantee you you'll get a lot of compliments uh, no matter if you're a blonde or brunette this hat would just suit you no matter the age uh, no matter anything it's just a classic shape and it should fit anyone even a man if you were to knit this in um, I don't know dark blue color or black or brown or deep green even for a man would look quite nice why not let me show you how it looks on my mannequin so that you can have an idea of how it will going to look on your head um, if you were to make it so this is my mannequin this is the hat it's slightly large at the top i made it on purpose so that if i do a hairdo like updo this would definitely have space for it place for it this is stitch at the back is very carefully done this is how it would take how it looks like embracing our head and i think it's fantastic i mean the mannequin is very pretty with this hat definitely you should try and give it a go totally i love it i think it's fantastic i hope you love it too and leave a lot of likes and comments to this um, video 
and hopefully you're going to subscribe and do patterns together why not see you soon and see you in the next video so bye